Hi everyone, first of all excuse the fact that this video is coming out a little later than anticipated. As per your request in my last live stream, I am filming a bit of a more light-hearted one today. About my atrocious experience with the epitome of a Karen, an eco-Karen to be precise. Although the world is in shambles right now, you deserve some entertaining content every now and then. And to be quite frank, this situation is a beautiful representation of the current state of a certain demographic when you combine the low 2020 mood with eco-extremism. Let me set the scene for you. It was Tuesday evening in Germany and I was at the local supermarket in my tiny village that I live in, about to pay for my kitchen paper rolls, sun-dried tomatoes, cat food, uh, a stick of butter and a disproportionately large piece of parmesan cheese. And I had to be home in 20 minutes to record a video and podcast episode with Alex Epstein. By the way, if you have not checked out that video yet, I will leave a link in the description so you can catch up on that. We talked about climate extremists threatening us climate skeptics and realists to take away our freedom of speech. And I also talked about the court case against the German state media authorities that I am currently involved in. So if you're interested in that, then you can follow the link and tell Alex I sent you. Mind you, I was still going to have to pay for my items, put the shopping cart back, then it takes me another five minutes to get back home, and it was raining outside, so I was going to have to get ready and somewhat presentable for the video recording at home, which would take another five minutes. Add to that the fact that I was reaching my personal limit of bearable oxygen deprivation as I was breathing into one of those disposable blue masks that cost a fortune these days at pharmacies and supermarkets because you know if you forget your reusable mask that your great aunt has personally knitted for you decorated with sparkly rainbow prints and messages that exude positive vibes then you know that you are not part of the club anymore, you won't get into any supermarket in the first place and society will spit on your indecency. Although, of course, not quite literally because you can't spit on people with a mask. But anyway, I digress. I really hate being confrontational with a mask on because trying to have a conversation with the other person while constantly having to ask them to repeat themselves is an embarrassing nuisance and it really does not give you a cool look when you're trying to come across cool and sarcastic. But oh boy, this particular Karen did not hesitate to be loud and clear in her demands. So the cashier was about to scan her items, but Karen was not ready. Hold on a second, please. Before we start, I've got a really important issue to address. So I recently bought this yogurt in a glass jar and I wanted to return the jar to get my 50 cent recycling bonus back. But the machine did not accept the jar. The cashier explained in a very friendly manner that because of the current regulations he would not be allowed to accept the glass jar himself and then he noticed that the label was no longer wrapped around the glass jar. Ma'am, the machine could not scan the jar because you removed the label and therefore the coat. And this is when the Karen rage was unleashed. Actually, I did not. My daughter put the jar in the dishwasher and I had no control over the removal of the label. Therefore, it is not my fault by any means. Well, I'm really sorry to inform you that I can't accept the glass jar without the label. 14 years. For 14 years, I've been buying these organic yogurts and I would always return the jars with the labels still attached to them. And now you're saying this is suddenly becoming a problem because this one time, I do not return the jar with the label still attached to it. That's unfortunate, ma'am, but I can call another employee if you want. So this young girl, possibly just out of high school, rushed to the scene and explained basically the same thing that the male cashier had already explained to Karen. Very politely, of course, and girl, I commend you for your cool temper. But eventually, after a very heated debate with Karen, with all the heat coming from Karen herself, obviously, this girl actually said that she was going to go to the back of the shop, take the glass jar with her and try to figure something out so that she would be allowed to give Karen a 50 cent discount on the items that she had bought. She told the male cashier that he could already scan the rest of the items, and so he did, and I was very glad that things were finally moving again. But when he announced the price, 1467 in euros to be precise, Karen was not having it. I'm not paying before I get my 50 cent back. Oh my goodness. I swear I am not exaggerating when I say I was already taking out my wallet and I was this close to just giving Karen a whole euro <laughs> instead of the 50 cents. So that means 50 cents times two to be exact. 
And the only reason I didn't do it is that I knew that my involvement in the situation would only cause another scene and I was already tired from wearing the mask, so thank you very much. And so we continued to wait, me and about five other people in the queue. And yes, I could already hear them sighing impatiently and rightfully so. But eventually the employee girl came back. All right, so we will give you your 50 cents back, but we as the company will not get a reimbursement for the 50 cents this time. So please just don't repeat the mistake of removing the label next time. Listen, I did not remove the label in the first place. My daughter put the jar in the dishwasher and it came out without the label. There was nothing that I could have done. Yes, ma'am, please just make sure to pay a little more attention next time. You know what? At the organic supermarket, they always accept my glass jars with or without label. Hold on, Karen. So you did already make the same mistake before. Congratulations, lady. You just exposed yourself. And here I was thinking that finally we can pay for our items in peace and move on from our past mistakes. But oh no. Wait, so you're saying you won't actually recycle the glass jar now and rather just throw it in the bin? That I cannot accept. Give me the glass jar back. Karen, you know what else is in the bin? My goddamn patience stretched to the limit. So do you want your 50 cents now or do you want to save the planet with your insignificant glass jar? Pick one. And so the employee girl actually had to promise that they were going to make sure that the glass jar was going to be recycled appropriately. And hear me out. If you want to buy your yogurts in a glass jar and recycle them, of course I don't have a problem with that and I prefer to buy those myself because they just feel nicer and I recycle them as well. But am I going to cause a scene if I neglect my responsibility of keeping the label on? So, Karen, stick some eco-friendly glitter on that glass jar of yours and put a nice candle in there, maybe even a scented one that will calm you down. Thank you very much. Anyways, this is the Karen story for today and my final message goes out to Karen personally today. I don't want you to panic, I want you to think. Thank you everyone for watching once again and if you want to support me please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel which is heavily shadow banned so every bit of support really helps. You can hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when I put out another video. If you want to follow me on my other social media accounts I will leave links to those in the description as well. And if you want to support me with the court case that I'm currently involved in, you can help me with my fundraiser. I will put donation information in the description as well. Thank you so much once again and see you in the next one.